Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Great for Gis Official How are you today? Oke, okay, I'm fine too, thank you Let's start our meeting today by saying Basmalah together Bismillahirrohmanirrohim I hope you are in a good condition Now with Miss Anis we will learn about new topic What the topic? I have clock So we are going to learn about time Telling the time and using timetables Please watch this video Friends, we can use the analog clock for the measure or to know the time Analog clock have two hand Short hand and long hand Short hand show the hour And the long hand show the minutes We can see in this clock Short hand shows number 6 And then the long hand shows number 12 So what time is it? Yes, it is 6 o'clock We can write 6.00 Okay friends, I hope you are still remember Now, I, I will explain you not about the telling time But I will explain you about the time table. Please watch this video until the end. So let's we start. Okay friends, today we are going to learn about telling the time and using timetables. So please prepare your mathematics book. And please watch this video carefully Friends, I think all of you still remember how read and write about time Vocabulary M Anti Meridium A time in the morning between midnight and midday PM Post Meridium A time in the afternoon between midday and midnight You must remember that the clock face has a scale of 1 to 12 for hours And a scale of 0 to 59 for minutes Friends, let's we review You can see on my side that is a picture of telling the time. Have you remember? Okay friends, I have a question and then we can answer it together. What time is it? Can you see clock? Yes, in a clock there are two hands. Short hand shows hour. Long hand shows minutes. You can see, short hand shows number one, and then the long hand shows number three. Remember, when the long hand move from one number to another number, it use counting in five. So we can say this time is. Yes, it is a quarter past one Or we can write 1.15 p.m. How about this picture? What time is it? You can see the short hand between 8 and 9 But the long hand shows In number 6 When the long hand moved to the number 6 It means half time So we can say It is a half past 8 And then we can write 
8.30 am Now we will apply the timetable Can you see the picture? Yes, the first picture is about school timetable With school timetable, we can write our schedule start from Monday until Friday We can fill the column with our subject from Monday until Friday And then the second picture is about time timetable with train timetable, we can see how long the train arrive. So, application of timetable are school timetable, train timetable, and many more. Okay, guys, you can see on my slide that is the train timetable. With the train timetable, we can see and know about how long the train will be arrive. On the train timetable, show the place and the time train will be arrive from the our town station until new city station. Okay, let's see the question. The question is, what time does the train arrives at Hailbury? You can see back on the table of train time table, you can see Highbury station, the train will be arrive at 9.30 am. So you can get the answer is 9.30 am or a half past 9. And then how about the second question? How long would I have to wait for a train if I arrive at our town station at 8.25 am? How long would I have to wait for a train if I arrive at our town station at 8.25 am? The first step is you can see our town station the train arrive at 8.30 am so you can get the answer from 8.30 minus 8.25 so you can get the answer is 5 minutes can you get it? Look again on my slide. The last example is how long does it take for the train to travel from River Toon Station to the new city station? You can see on the table from Riverton Station Start from Riverton Station On Riverton Station The train will be arrived at 9 am And then The train go to the Hailbury Station And the train arrive at 9.30 am and then the last stop the train will be arrive to the new city station at 11 am and then we can calculate from Riverton station to Highbury station or from 9 to 9.30 that is 30 minutes right and then from Highbury station to New City station from 9.30 to 11 we can 
calculate that is one hour thirty minutes. And then we can add all together one hour thirty minutes at thirty minutes. So we can get the answer like this. See, but you must still remember that that is no sixty minutes. Sixty minutes. It's equal to one hour, so we can get the the right answer is two hours. So the answer is from Riverton Station to New City Station is two hours. Now, this is your exercise. Please write this exercise on your exercise book. And then don't forget to submit your answer to your teacher class. Good luck! Okay friends, maybe it's enough for today. Hopefully you are understand and then don't forget to do your exercise. Keep healthy and let's say hamdalah together. Alhamdulillah hirabil alamin. See you on next video. Bye bye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.